For the Moistener system to properly clean spindles, it must be properly adjusted, operated, and maintained. In this section, we will introduce both adjustments and maintenance. Always refer to your operator manual for full instructions. If the Moistener column needs adjustment, there are two settings to check, column position and column height. The position of the Moistener column is correct if the first fin of the pad just touches the front edge of the spindle dust collar as the spindle exits the pad. Pads at the top and bottom of the column should appear the same. To adjust position, loosen the upper and lower door pivot stops. Then, move the stops in or out to obtain the correct setting and retighten the stops. Column height is correct when all the fins flex just slightly as the spindle passes. Remember that the spindles are to be cleaned by the pads, not the doffers. The cap screw is used to adjust the column height. The last item in the Moistener system requirements is proper system maintenance. There are just a few points to be checked. The Moistener pads may need attention. Torn pads should be replaced. For optimum spindle bushing life, it's important that the fins on the pads be installed perpendicular to the spindle. The ratio of additive to water is important. Too low of ratio decreases performance, while too high of ratio does not give you better return on your investment. John Deere Spindle Cleaner is specifically formulated soluble oil to which reduces total solution usage, reduces mud buildup, reduces stained or sticky spindles, minimizes pad damage, and makes doffing more efficient. Since the nozzle tip helps regulate solution pressure, it is important to be sure you use the correct size. The number 3 nozzle tip is the correct size. Please use John Deere Spindle Cleaner for best results. Maintaining proper solution pressure for crop conditions is another important step. A buildup of cotton on the spindle may mean the need for a higher pressure. Remember to check strainers and nozzles daily and clean them if necessary. Be careful to not over-tighten the nozzle tips when reassembling. The brass threads of the nozzle cap could damage the plastic threads of the nozzle body. Before you increase solution pressure, be sure you are using the flush system properly and that the moistener pads are positioned correctly. The flush system lets you direct a higher volume of solution to the moistener columns. Flushing is recommended for 10 to 15 seconds at each basket dump, and if staining conditions are extreme, it is recommended you should also flush for 4 to 5 seconds at each turn row. The recommended practice for round module cotton pickers is to flush on the turn rows.